Good morning. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a line and then put two points on the line and then actually uh, perform this so that you can actually move the sliders and find the gradient of a line between two points. Okay, so this is the finished article, so I'm going to sort of try and guide you through how to actually make it. First step is to open up a new GeoGebra page. Okay, so I have a new GeoGebra page here. I'm just going to move that somewhere near the center. I'm going to format the axis first. So right click at somewhere and then here uh, I like to make this bold. It's, this is like personal preference line here. And then add in uh, X, add in Y, and th there we go. Right, to make a slider, which is what, what was I, I was asked to do, you need to go to this one here. Okay, and click and create a slider. So we're going to create one and we're going to rename them. So this one will be X, now to X1. So X underscore one will make X1. And then we'll make another one. Uh, y underscore one. So that does subscript if you put in underscore. X underscore two, okay, and then y underscore two. Right, I'm just going to move these sliders so they all line up. So to do that, just right click and you take off fix object. So actually you can select all of them here if you, if you go to the select tool and select them all, shift and right click. and go to fix object and just select them and then you can move them where you want them. So let's just move them that. Okay, right, so the next ne the next thing is I need to put on some two points. I'm gonna put on point P. So put P is equal to comma uh, x underscore one comma y underscore one and put one point on there okay and then perhaps move the sliders for uh, two so they actually go in a different place and you can make these like, do whole coordinates or bits of coordinates so fine tune it with the arrow and then I'm going to call the next point q underscore uh, x underscore Two comma y underscore two enter. Uh, what I didn't do is I didn't put q is equal to. So we might have to get the equal sign. There we go. Point q has uh, appeared. Right. Next next thing I'm going to do is do line through two points. Now because I've labelled the lines p and Q, I can do that. And there's my line. Now, to change colors and things like this, and you can do this to any object, is just right click, object properties, and style. You can make the line a bit thicker, or you can change the color. This is all like personal preference, okay? For the points, you might want them to stand out a little bit, so select both of them. Right click, object properties, uh, make them red to stand out, style maybe a bit bigger. There we go, right? So if we now move the sliders, the line will move with the uh, sliders. Okay, we want to put in this point about here as well. So we'll call that point N is equal to comma now. So we want the X coordinate of Q, so that's going to be X2. So X underscore two comma and we want the uh, y coordinate of one, so y underscore one. Now we'll put that point there. Okay, if I just make that five, then okay. And then again, I can make that point stand out, object properties, color, red, style, make it stand out. We want some line segments now joining the two points. So line segments, so there, to there and there 
to there. For those two line segments, we probably want to make them dashed. Object properties, uh, color, let's make them blue, let's make the style thicker, and then make it a dashed style as well. Okay, and um, also we don't want the uh, name on the thing, but it might be good to have the value. So just have the value, that might give me the length. Press OK, then I've got the value. Okay, and so if I move the sliders around, then I've got a line which will move, and then I can find the gradient between two points. I hope this helps. I hope this is what you wanted. Please let me know, and thank you very much for watching.